All right, so on Monday we talked about uh, how we can, a few different ways we can read parries and reposts, uh, being as a defensive fighter if our opponent just happened to attack us. Uh, so people are kind of asking what this kind of looks like in, in tempo stuff. So we're going to do a uh, quick kind of like walkthrough of what all these uh, look like that we went through on Monday. Uh, ideally, whenever she uh, Aneska here parries, if she, if she can just extend and hit me in the head while I'm splayed out in this big lunge position, that's the ideal because uh, I am very vulnerable when I'm at this point. Uh, so she's fast enough and she can get me. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. So we're just going to kind of walk through what this one looks like. So if I just throw my attack, she parries. If you can just extend and hit me in the head and keep that line closed, uh, that's the idea of what we're looking for. You do need to be very fast on that parry repost or your opponent is be very, they think they're just gonna hit you and they're just hanging out there and stuff. Uh, so it can be a little bit difficult, but it's definitely worth uh, trying out. The second one is a case that we run into in which the opponent's thrown the attack, it's been parried, and they just recover back. They're not trying to protect themselves, they're not hanging out there, they're just trying to get back on the defense position because maybe they're not expecting their opponent uh, to throw a, a big repost. Uh, so in this case, Anessia needs to follow me back into my on guard position, and this is really useful as long as she makes sure she leads with that sword first, she realizes she doesn't hit me right away, and then she just finishes with her actual uh, rep lunge via, uh, uh, repose via her lung. So if we walk through this one, I throw the attack, she parries, as I come back, she just strikes me as I'm recovering. So she's getting me, in this case, she's hitting me at another point where I'm very vulnerable, and that is the tempo I'm giving her as I'm recovering back. And because I'm recovering back without trying to close off the line, she doesn't really need to do much of anything other than extend, close off that line, and follow me through. Uh, opponents like that, uh, fantastic to run to. They make your approach nice and easy. If I'm a little bit of a, uh, uh, a little bit more safety conscious attacker here, as I repost, I might try to counter parry her repost. Uh, and in that case, she needs to disengage around my sword and strike into the opposite line. So at the camera here, uh, your opponent with all the attack, you parry as they recover, they're trying to parry your repost, which opens up that opposite line for you to strike in. The key here is you really need to make sure you lead with the sword first because if you don't, you're gonna get stuck on your uh, your opponent's guard and blade and they might be able to counter repost you at that point and it's not so super great. So if we walk through what this one looks like. We're on guard, I throw the attack, she parries, she sucks, it's extend, she feels this parry coming, so she disengages and then strikes on the opposite. So we kinda of just do that one a little bit smoother. Just like that. The fourth thing that we covered was your opponent recovers and they keep a really high guard, right? So these first few that we looked at, uh, first one, opponent just hangs out there. Second one, they come back into the defensive stance uh, right away. Third one, they try to do a counter parry. And this fourth one is they come back and they keep a really nice high guard. So you might see this uh, for people who do a lot of fabrics, they just naturally hang out in this higher guard. So when they recover, they're gonna recover back with a nice high guard, uh, guard and keeping their head behind the sword, regardless of where they're, how their hilt uh, is positioned uh, uh, guard-wise. So in this case, it can be very hard uh, for a post to happen. Uh, we kind of like walk through what happens if you just try to strike through uh, the point on this. So I throw the attack, she parries, as she reposts, I get this nice hard guard, so now her sword goes over my head, and then I could do something where I just kind of turn my hand over and basically like strike her as she's coming on it. So in this case, she needs to get my point out of the way 
uh, so in a, while also opening uh, some other lines up. So she's going to do a transport to bring my sword high or the point high low. So she still has control over it. We'll get an access to my low line targets. So we'll walk through what this one looks like. So I throw the attack, she parries, so I come back to that high guard, she just transports over and strikes. Do that one more time. But those are basically what we're looking at. Again, first one, uh, she just wants to, we're just do this really slow. I'm out here, she just wants to repost right away while I'm in this lunge position. Second one, she reposts while I'm coming back, I'm not trying to close the line off. She closes it off, hits me nice and easy. Third one, she feels me trying to counter parry, so she disengages, strikes on that opposite open line. And this last one, I try to recover with a really high guard. She transports and hits the lola. I'm gonna 